So this is part 2 and here we, we are going to discuss about how to hold the breast and how to latch the baby. Okay. So again we already discussed about uh, mother's readiness, uh, understanding of early hunger cues and how to position the baby. So we already discussed this. Now this is part 2, again we are going to discuss about how to hold the breast and how to latch the baby. Okay. Uh, extremely important points. Uh, at cross cradle hold or any kind of hold that uh, you would prefer. Okay. So, here now I am ready to uh, latch the baby, here I am holding giving the position to the baby, this is called landing the baby okay, to be to be to prepare the baby to breastfeed. Okay. Now baby is completely facing the breast not facing up, please remember this I see it all the time. Uh, another hand, the lower hand is around the breast, under the breast. Okay, and upper upper hand is here. Now, if baby is moving too much, what you can do is to just wrap the baby. Okay, and if baby is not moving and baby is okay, you know you don't need to wrap really. I don't prefer that you wrap the baby while breastfeeding because I prefer skin to skin contact. So if mother is kind of can open, you know, and keep the chest open, uh, baby's chest will be completely touching mother's chest. That's called skin to skin. You know, that's that's really uh, I prefer that actually skin to skin contact. Okay. So now here, now baby is ready to breastfeed. See, neck is a little bit extended neck is little, little bit extended okay and here I am going to bring the baby so that the net is right across the uh, uh, nipple okay. Now I am going to hold the breast. Now this part is really really important. Now in this position uh, before I go back to that breast again. Now remember now here is the baby okay here is me here is the baby. Now I want to give you one example uh, and this example just uh, kind of watch it very carefully because this example will give you the concept of why we have to hold breast in a certain way okay? uh, and understand the concept don't understand then don't uh, rote learn it okay if you wrote memorize it then you will make a mistake in different holes so just understand the concept and then you will know in any hold whichever way baby is coming to the breast mother will know exactly where to hold the breast to make it smaller so it becomes easier for baby to open the mouth okay so here remember that uh, i'm sitting now if i'm trying to eat something which is very big Okay. So, for example, in my example, say I take an example of a big sandwich, three layer sandwich okay, and there are three breads, in between two breads there is tomato and another two uh, layers there is uh, cucumber and cheese and chutney and butter okay. and I am telling you or somebody is giving me this big, big sandwich and they are asking me to have a big bite. Okay. So, the way I am going to uh, take a big bite of the sandwich, I am going to hold the sandwich okay, and I am going to basically press it and then I am going to eat it. Okay. So, this remember that here this is how we eat. Just think of anything that you may have some big thing that you want to take a bite of. So, in Gujarat we call it dabeli, any of this fast food joint, not that I want you to have any burger but just giving you example, if you have a burger, you know you basically hold the burger like this, press it and then take a big bite but while you are eating a big bite you are kind of bending your neck forward, remember you will never be able to eat like this, you will have to bend your neck uh, sorry backward, so bend your neck backward and then take a big bite and you are putting that bite on the lower lip. You are not putting that bite on the upper lip, why? Because when you put it on the lower lip, that is when because your lower jaw is moving, your mandible is moving. So, you will be able to take a big bite with the pressure, you will be able to take a big bite. Similarly, now here is a baby, okay, and I am going to bring something which is very big, I want to put it in baby's mouth. So, what I am going to do, I am going to basically keep my fingers parallel to baby's lips, the baby's lips are like this, so I am going to put my fingers, you know parallel to baby's lips and I am going to basically press it and then put it in baby's mouth in such a way that baby's mouth is little bit backward okay like this. Now suppose in this position I am going to put my fingers straight but if baby is sideways so what I am going to do I am going to again put my fingers parallel to baby's lips okay so here are baby's lips right I am going to press it right I am going to press it 
Now, if suppose if this baby is this way, okay, again the lips are uh, vertical. So, here in this position, in this position lips are vertical, right? In this position lips are vertical and that is why I am putting my fingers vertical. Either I can put it from top I, or I can put it from down, okay, right? Now, in this position just turn it around and here in this position also baby's lips are vertical, okay. So, my fingers will be vertical too. So, either it will be from the top or it will be from the bottom, okay. Just this is a very important concept that I want you to learn. It is like whenever you are contouring your breast, your fingers should be parallel to baby's lips, okay. So, in this position baby's lips, in this position baby's lips are vertical, right. So, either your lips are or your fingers are from down, okay or they are from the top okay and remember that on day 3 when milk comes in your areola you know mother's breast becomes big even even in the beginning baby's mouth is really small so you want to contour it so it becomes easier for baby to have a lower areola latch remember why lower areola latch because we always put things food on the lower jaw so you want to have as much areola as possible near the lower jaw like a lower lip so that we will be able to press harder and get more amount of milk coming into the uh, in the tummy okay all right so here it is now let's see now here this is the breast okay now baby is coming like this right so lips are vertical okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to of course here i'm holding the baby lips are vertical so either i can hold it from top okay or I can hold it from below. But I do not want to hold it from top because if I hold it from top I would not know when did baby open the mouth okay. Because I want to see if when baby opens a big mouth that is when I am going to put the breast in the mouth. So, here I am going to do I am going to hold the breast from below okay and this is how I am going to hold the breast. Now, this also is another very important concept to learn is while I am bringing the baby while I am bringing my fingers to the breast. Remember there is uh, a clock, think about a clock, okay. Think about a clock and think about uh, nipple as the middle of the clock, okay. So, you want to in this on left hand side, this is 3 o'clock, this is 9 o'clock, this is 6 and this is 12, okay. So, you want to because your lips are parallel absolutely, baby is coming in such a way that the upper lip is at 3 o'clock and lower lip is at 9 o'clock. So, you want to keep your fingers right there where the lips are, okay. So, you want to keep the uh, thumb near the upper lip which is at the 3 o'clock. So, you want to keep your tip of the finger, just the tip, do not put the whole finger. If you put whole finger, what will happen? This fingers will come in the way. You do not want the fingers to come in the way. You want to just put the tip of the fingers, but at 3 o'clock, many times what happens? Mothers do this. They put fingers at 2 o'clock and at uh, 10 o'clock position that is too high because if you if that is too high what will happen only nipple will go in the mouth and in nipple milk will not come. If you put only nipple, nipple does not have milk in it okay. Baby has to have a lower areola latch so if baby is coming from here this part over here will go in baby's mouth. So, do not block that areola at any cost okay. So, here if you have a big nipple or a big areola I should say, then put one finger thumb at 3 o'clock position and another one tip of the finger and another one at 9 o'clock position. But this is another point I want you to remember that when you put the fingers tip of the fingers do not make do not put it too close because if you put it too close only nipple will go in the mouth okay. You want to put it at least 3 fingers away, so 3 fingers from this side and 3 fingers from this side. This is where basically this is how it is going to be and remember the dip of the uh, 6 right this is your dip. Now, that dip of your U shape will come at 6 o'clock position okay. So, here how would you know that it is 6 o'clock because so, so many times you know how mothers hold the breast they hold the breast like this. So, here what happens uh, even though fingers are at 6 o'clock and 3 o'clock position or 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock position what happened the U the dip of the U is not at 6 o'clock because the hands, hand is little bit elevated. So, you tell the mother to you kind of press the hand down when she presses the hand down automatically what happens this dip comes at 6 o'clock position okay. So, this is really really important remember and just a tip of the finger not the whole thing 
and uh, this is how you hold the breast okay. Now once she, once she puts her finger tip of the finger at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock position tell it to press it just like how we press a sandwich okay because if we do not press our burger it will not go in the mouth and remember baby does not have that big mouth okay. So you want to press it kind of press it good amount suppose if the areola is very small okay then what you want to do you want to make sure uh, you know that areola if it is small just take it three fingers does not matter if the areola is small or big just take three fingers away okay and then press it hard okay and then basically it will be it will contour as soon as it becomes small you know when baby opens the mouth you immediately latch the baby. Now baby has already kind of extended the neck backward right. So when the here the lower lip will be somewhere near the border of here border of the areola okay and you want that whole areola near the lower lip to kind of slide in the mouth okay. So this is really important concept that how to hold the breast exactly at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock we call it cupping of breast cup. It is like cupping of breast okay. okay. So, here now we are done with how to hold the breast here I am bringing the baby okay. So, here is the position neck is a little bit backward okay ne uh, ne uh, kind of nair of the nose is facing the nipple okay. So, it is facing the nipple there you go. So, here it here is the position where nair of the nipple is facing the facing the nipple do you see. See the neck is uh, extended backward, it is not coming on straight like this, it is I am pulling the baby a little bit towards the other side and then extending the neck okay, nipple is in front of the uh, nair okay. Now what is happening, the lower part of the areola this part is facing baby's mouth okay. Now I am going to uh, open baby's mouth. So how is baby going to open the mouth? The way baby is going to open the mouth is basically what you do. You kind of stimulate baby's upper lip with the nipple. So when you stimulate baby's upper lip with the nipple what is going to happen uh, within a minute or sometime it takes about couple of minutes but baby is going to open the big mouth. How big it should be the mouth? It should be minimum 120 degree because if it is only 45 degree only nipple will go in the mouth. If it is only 90 degree not a good amount of lower illa latch will happen okay. You want the lower illa latch okay lower means near the lower lip. So, you wait till baby opens 120 degree, do not be in hurry, please have patience, this is the most important part okay, because you may have everything correct, but if you do not wait for baby to open the mouth, you will not be able to latch this baby properly and there will be breastfeeding failure okay. So, please understand, so again stimulate upper lip with the nipple, wait for baby to open the mouth, sometime it may take time do not give up okay and if baby is not opening the mouth after 4 minutes, 5 minutes or maybe even 7 minutes let it go baby is not ready to breastfeed because baby is not hungry. When they are not hungry, when they are sleepy they will not open the mouth but if they are hungry they are you know ready to eat you know they will immediately as soon as you put kind of stimulate upper lip they will open the mouth sometime it may take time sometime it may take 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes but do not give up okay alright. Now baby opens the mouth you have already made it small. Now you just immediately as soon as what you are what I want you to do you are ready okay. See baby is very close to me baby is kind of I have control full control of baby's neck right here baby's uh, kind of neck back of the head and then I am very close I am waiting for baby to open the mouth as soon as baby opens the mouth immediately what I am going to do glide it in the mouth okay. As soon as it glides in the mouth basically the latch is complete okay. Now what can mother do? After the latch is done mother has to see it because unless she sees it unless she examines it she will not she won't know whether mouth is big enough or not, where is the lower lip sitting, where is the upper lip sitting, what is happening with the lower lip you know all that she needs to see there are 4 points that she needs to watch you know and then she has to examine that is when she will know that okay latch is good. Now in, in what happens is many times is if doctors and nurses know this technique they will examine. But you have to tell the mother what to watch because at home she is not going to have any of this lactation consultant uh, see the latch all the time. So it is important that mothers understand okay. So here now uh, latch is complete what I am going to do I am going to release this hand from here 
this is possible if you have a small breast. If it is a very big breast and if you remove it what happens it may slip from baby's mouth ok. So, if you have a small breast if it is not too heavy you remove the hand and then with the same hand you basically what you can do is near the lower lip you press the breast a little bit over here. You press it because I want to see where exactly is baby's mouth ok. So, I am looking for few things. First thing I am looking for how big is the mouth ok. So, I am looking I am examining the latch. So, I am looking whether the mouth is 120 degree minimum 120 degree open or not. If it is open that point is correct ok. Second point I am looking, looking for is where is the lower lip sitting whether it is sitting just near the uh, nipple or whether it is sitting near the areola whether sitting here whether sitting where is where is baby's uh, lower lip sitting ok. So, here what I am doing is basically I am looking at the latch ok and I am seeing whether the lower lip is at the border of areola or not ok. Now, if baby is sitting at the lower uh, if the lower lip is sitting at the border of areola that means uh, latch is good, but if suppose the areola is very small then where what will happen that the lower lip will be sitting on the breast ok and where would be the upper lip? Upper lip should be sitting just above the nipple because if you have more of upper illa going in the mouth this area baby will not be able to press hard ok. And if baby is not able to press hard means that section of the areola we will not be able to suck so much milk ok and that is very important because you want as much as the lower illa in the mouth and the upper lip is sitting just at the border of upper uh, nipple ok not not upper areola. It should not be the full area going out because there is a myth among lot of healthcare workers they always say pura kala bhag mu jana chahiye. the whole black part should go in the mouth. No, it should not be the full black part going in the mouth, it should be just the areola the black part which is near the lower lower uh, lip ok. So, that is your uh, latch is done ok. Now, once you examine second thing what the third thing you want to examine you want to see whether baby has any dimple. Now, that dimple if baby has a dimple then there are three points which could go wrong ok. What are the three points which are wrong probably one is the nipple feeding. So, if babies only have nipple in the mouth they will basically have dimple. Second point is, is if baby has much of a upper illa in the mouth. So, more, more of a upper illa if it goes in the mouth and not the lower illa that is when baby will have dimple ok. And the third point is if baby is too far from the breast ok. Ideally what happens when you have a good latch the lips and the chin should not be visible because if the only if the lips are visible that means kind of uh, mother's mother's uh, breast is too far. Like for example, when you are drinking from a straw when you are drinking from too far what will happen you will be doing this <laughs> baby will get tired ok. So, you do not want that what you want you want to push mouth baby's mouth so kind of deep into breast that the full breast is pressing against the lip and especially the areola so that you cannot visualize baby's lips as well as chin. This is a third point which is extremely important in your latch ok. So, what are the three points very important? Three points first of all babe, uh, baby's mouth should be 120 degree open. Second point is that the lower lip should be at the border of areola or on the breast ok and the upper lip should be just above the uh, nipple. Third point both uh, you know lips as well as chin should be embedded into the breast ok. It should be deep kind of seated deeply embedded kind of pushed into the breast so that you cannot see the chest uh, you know you cannot see the lips as well as chin ok. And the fourth point which WHO recommend is the upper la should be visualized and lower la is not visualized because it is in the mouth which I already mentioned. Okay. So, these are the four important points that you want to uh, there is one more point which uh, generally I do not see much of a problem uh, which WHO do recommend that the lower uh, lip should be kind of turned outward ok. It should not be turned inward because if it is inward we will not be able to kind of cause suction you know we will not be able to suck breast milk as much ok. So, that is important but as I said ki you know if, if baby is landed well and if the latching is done correctly then by and large I do not see this problem of inward uh, turning of uh, lo lower lip ok. So, that is done. So, here now uh, mother is ready to now uh, you know continue start 
I mean she has already started latching, start, started breastfeeding, but now she can relax and you know just enjoy the session. So, here now once she examine, she can remove her hand and then bring the hand okay, like this. Okay, so, what I am doing now with my other hand I am just kind of again giving the support to the leg, okay. but remember I am not removing my fingers from the neck or from the lower part of the head. Okay, because baby's neck is still not under control, baby is still young, so till 1 or 2 months of age, you know I prefer that mother still hold the head because many times what happens we see it that a uh, lot of time when uh, baby is used to having nipple feeding, what they do is as soon as you put the areola in the mouth, lower areola, they pull back, they pull back. So here you know you want to kind of control this uh, neck uh, I would say head position so the baby does not remove the uh, kind of mouth from the breast okay that is important. So, this is your uh, your uh, you know latching is over and you are kind of bringing your uh, you know hand on the back of the uh, body is finished. Now, sometimes what happens that we do see that uh, many times uh, you know mother's breast is very heavy. Okay. So, in such situation what to do because as soon as you remove the uh, hand from the breast you know it will slip off from mother's uh, baby's mouth. Okay. So, in that situation what you want to do is you basically kind of bring your hand first you check for the, uh, for the latch once the latch is good then you bring the hand and then with the, with the help of the uh, elbow joint you just lift up the breast a little bit because when you do that what will happen it will give support to, to the breast and it will not slip off from baby's mouth ok. So, you can just lift up the leg you can see the shoulder see I am kind of supporting my breast ok and that that is what you do. Now many times what happen like nowadays we see a lot of obese mothers and overweight mothers kind of breastfeeding and their breast is really heavy and big. So, in that situation what we do we tell mothers to continue holding the breast in a U shape Okay. And then what you can do you can just put kind of a, you know a pillows over here so that she can get support. So, in my situation over here I have a support of the handle of the chair. So, you can just basically put a kind of you know uh, support uh, with the handle and then she can continue holding it so that mother does not feel uh, tired. Uh, and this when this is happening you know you want to make sure that many mothers are kind of lot of time do this you know lift the shoulders up like this you know they, they want to kind of make sure that they are little bit uncomfortable you know in the beginning when they are learning. So, you want to make sure that tell her to put both this kind of shoulder back like this towards the body because if, if she is holding the baby with her shoulder relaxed and close to her trunk you know then it will be much easier for baby a mother also to relax and enjoy the breastfeeding session. Okay. So, here it is this is our session on uh, how to hold the breast and how to basically attach the baby and also how to check the latch uh, to make sure that you know the latch is good. Okay. So, this is the end of part uh, 2 uh, where we finished about uh, uh, holding the breast and latching the baby. Okay. Now, in next session what we are going to next part what we are going to discuss about is uh, you know just the other important counselling points because there are about 45 points. So, we have finished almost half of them you know. So, now it will be the rest of them that what all things that we want to make sure that uh, you know mothers know so that she can have successful breastfeeding.